In this video, we are going to be exploring the connection between fasting and testosterone. And before we get into it today, this channel is here to help get you in the best shape of your life, to lose fat, to build muscle, to be the healthiest and happiest version of you. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you're feeling super into it, make sure you hit that bell to be notified when we release new videos. With that being said, let's get into it. <music> Hey, what's up? My name is Skylar Deem. I'm the founder of Reach Fat Loss and Fitness, where our goal is to help you lose fat and to build muscle and to do it sustainably, to do it as simply as possible, which to me means no counting calories or weighing your food, no strict diets where you're not allowed to eat anything, and definitely no long or torturous HIIT workouts or cardio. And before we dive into the video today, I want you to take a second and go down below this video and grab your free copy of our Common Kitchen Upgrades Guide. This guide is going to give you 15 simple swaps that you can make in your kitchen that will not only help you increase your energy and reduce bloating, but will also help you lose weight. We got a lot of hidden stuff going on in this world, a lot of hidden stuff in our ingredients and our food, and becoming aware and being able to make those swaps is the first step to change. So fasting and testosterone. If you're new here, fasting is one of the main strategies that we use with our clients. When you do it the right way, not only does it help you lose fat, but it also helps you feel really, really good while you do so. It's not hard like people make it out to be. It's not this impossible thing. We have clients coming in who feel like they are addicted to food and they can never fast for more than 16 hours, who are now hitting 24, 36, even 48 or more hour fasts and feeling great while they do so. But what is the connection between fasting and testosterone? So a quick one-on-one on testosterone. Testosterone is a sex hormone. It is in both men and women. It's typically what you hear specifically with men, but it's important for both genders. It's responsible for things like energy, strength, libido, drive. And if it's low, plain and simple, you're not going to feel good. You're at a higher risk of depression, anxiety, low ambition, apathy. I can make a super in-depth video about this, but please just for now know that it's really, really important. And in most cases, the more testosterone you naturally have, the better. Now first, fasting and testosterone. I want to get this out of the way. If you do fasting incorrectly, it can actually cause your testosterone levels to plummet. To me, incorrectly means over fasting combined with under eating, right? One of the most important things is when we fast, we go through a fasting window. When we feast, we really, really have to feast. If you combine fasting with under eating and with the diet mentality, you are setting yourself up to not only have your testosterone levels plummet, but also to cause a lot of other health issues along the way. So when I talk about fasting and testosterone from here on out, we are assuming that you are doing it correctly. So today I want to talk about four different ways that fasting can impact testosterone. Keep in mind that we can talk about this from an intermittent fasting standpoint where you are fasting anywhere from 15 to 18 to 20 hours a day. But a lot of the time, some of the real benefits come from the extended fast, right? The 24 plus hour fast. Now, of course, intermittent fasts can be done daily. Daily, extended fast can't because if you're fasting more than 24 hours and you do it every day, you're not ever eating. But keep in mind that there's a nice balance and that both of these can have positive impacts on your testosterone. So the first thing we're going to talk about is how fasting increases something called gonadotropin releasing hormone, otherwise known as GNRH. This is a part of the brain that actually signals the gonads to produce more testosterone. So there's a study done that found that when men did intermittent fasting, GNRH increased 26% in obese men and a whopping 67% in non-obese men. So more GNRH means more natural testosterone. The second thing we have to look at is the correlation between the fasting days and the feasting days because there is actually a change in how your body produces testosterone when you're in these certain periods. The best study that represented this was done in 1981 and they took six men and they fasted them for 10 days and then after those 10 days they refeeded them for five. So five more days where they were eating and they weren't doing any fasting. The cool part was that during their fast these men's testosterone actually did plummet. It really did drastically decrease. But the cool part is every single man when they went through this refeed Feed, their testosterone actually skyrocketed past where it initially was at the beginning. And one man's testosterone actually doubled. It went from 800 to 1600. So before we get into the next two points, I put a lot of work in these videos and I would love if you could engage and leave a comment below. I would love to know what is the longest that you have fasted before. Okay, the third thing we can look at when comparing fasting and testosterone is the correlation between autophagy and testosterone. Autophagy is basically cell eating. So it's when your body doesn't have food, it doesn't have nutrients to consume, that it starts to eat the old and sick cells and clean them out to produce Reduce clean energy for the body. And so there's a lot of emerging research on the combination of fasting and how it can actually drastically decrease and even heal cancer. But the cool part about autophagy is it is detoxing. It is allowing the body to work through all of these toxins and other things that don't belong. And one of the things autophagy does is it actually gets rid of excess estrogen in the body, whether this is from the body itself or estrogenics in our environment. And so estrogen is one of those things where it's same as testosterone to women. It is important to have in men, but you don't want an increased amount. And so fasting can actually rid the body of some excess as estrogen, which inversely will help increase testosterone. And then the fourth thing we're going to look at is just some of the other health benefits that fasting does have that is correlated to increased testosterone. So when you fast correctly, you fast for certain lengths, not only are you getting things like insulin sensitivity, improved mitochondrial function, and lower triglycerides, but you are also helping yourself reduce body fat if you are not overfeeding during your feeding windows. And guess what? All
all four of those things help you increase your testosterone. So obviously we have a lot of great potential here for using fasting to increase your testosterone. What I would say is number one, if you have a lot of other poor habits, just adding in fasting is probably not gonna be that magic key. Probably gotta get your sleep, nutrition, exercise, even stress in check before this really starts to make a difference. And then the second thing is just keeping in mind that it really feels like the magic is in the refeed. Because if you're fasting and you're under eating or you're fasting and you're overeating after during that feeding window, you're probably not gonna have the same benefits. However, if you are overweight or you're just looking to improve your health, I really do believe in the power of fasting to not only increase testosterone, but also to improve plenty of other health markers in your body. I am not in a fat loss phase and I still use fasting on a weekly basis because I love how it makes me feel and I know I'm reaping a lot of health benefits from it as well. And again, this is deeply connected to every other part of your body, including nutrition. So please make sure you go down in the description below and grab your free copy of our Common Kitchen Upgrades Guide. Seriously, we've got 15 different swaps in here that are gonna help you not only feel better, but also potentially lose weight in the process. So that being said, thank you so much for watching. And of course, as always, make sure to eat smart, move more, sleep deep, and be grateful for this moment. I'll see you in the next video.